this is why I'm big bucket bag, how fast it's finished. <laughs> and suddenly we're ratchet now why can't we be classy girls to go to the city and live their best lives don't touch what's there don't touch it don't touch mine i bought it <laughs> very expensive brazil is brazilian You know your jumper's inside out. No, no, it's meant to look like that. Oh, okay. It's fashion. You wouldn't know about it. Interesting. Okay. Um, also, like how you wouldn't know that you're supposed to trim your ends every few months. But I'm here this to educate you. This is actually what I'm going for. Is called the bush look. I mean. Um. Well, you can never be as sleek as this. You can try. Having yeah. sleek hair will say like 2017. Oh, you look like a raggedy bitch. We're in 2019 now. You look like a raggedy bitch. I don't look raggedy. From Harry Potter. I look voluminous. She doesn't wash the hair. I look voluminous. <clears throat> you can know. We need to bring this wig back in Alexa, these videos because I know Nicki I look Minaj, crazy. Itty bitty piggy. I don't feel crazy. I mean. I can't find it see Bitty that. Piggy by Nicki Minaj in your sex. music library. Okay. So how do you know she has a song in that song? Mm. In that good yeah. point. Good yeah. point, yeah. RX. Oh, yeah. uh, by the way, um, hi guys, this is Kadisha. And this is RX. Oops, oops. No, Kat's <laughs> back. <laughs> Kadisha's back. Get it together. <laughs> so, um... This is Kadisha, and, um... So, uh, she hasn't been around for a while, but she's back, and she's better than ever. And Khadija's, Kads Khadija's is, alter ego. Um, Kads is currently on holiday. I'm she's on annual leave. Kads I mean. is my bitch. If you need to contact her, <laughs> then you need to contact her through me, I'm afraid. My name's RX. This is you RX. know, with a capital X. And, and this is who I am. Yeah. I mean, I mean the, world, to, the world was already. The world was already, you know. but I mean, come on. I, just prepare yourself. Prepare, prepare yourself. yourself. Prepare you yourself. know, wait. In fact, I'm wait, gonna give you a moment. Some water. Drink it. I'm gonna give you a moment to like, comment, and subscribe while you prepare yourself. <laughs> yes. If yes. you ever ask me, get an inhaler. <laughs> if you have broken arm, get a cast. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't know. I just, I really, I yeah. couldn't come up with something that fast. Okay. So anyway, on a serious note, um, we're actually going to be talking about a very serious subject: hijabi hair care. And the reason why it is a serious subject is because it is often overlooked. Okay, just because you wear hijab does not mean that your hair can look like a bloody bird's nest underneath. Okay, I know we've all been there. I've been there. I know. Well. Yeah, 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 there. yeah. I've yeah, been yeah. there. I know it's so easy <clears throat> to just, you know, I mean, just leave your hair. To get a tangle, to be looking yeah. like Chief Keith and them other Snoop Dogg, you know, but it's all right. We're gonna we're gonna have you looking like the bad beast Snoop Dogg mm -hmm. that you really are. You know the one with the with the hairnet. Listen, the you know the one with the hairnet and the bathroom. Oh when he's yes. doing up self care. That's yes. what you need to be doing up. Because underneath that, you know, people need to know that you know one of the reasons why you're wearing it is because the world's not ready the to world's see you without ready. it. They're really not ready. If you guys want to learn how to get this look? <laughs> <laughs> stay subscribed. <laughs> no, stay subscribed. Stay tuned. So we're going to talk about our different methods and how we look after our hair. Um, I think my hair is, um, I think it's 3B, but I'm not sure. I just like to say, I'm not saying, oh, you, my hair so luscious, if you, if you, if you, so blonde, if you, so long, if you, so beautiful. If you were around, um, please, yeah, then this video is actually not for you because it's actually aimed for girls. So if you're, if you're uh, Aki with like a beard up to here, <laughs> tucked up in your duvets right now, with, I don't know how to look after this. Then you really, you don't really have a leg to stand on. I think just switch this off right now and go away. Give them a moment. Yep. Bye. Goodbye. Bye. See you later. Bye. <laughs> Moving on. Right. So, where um, do you start with water? 
yeah um no no i was just saying my hair texture my hair texture is um it's very asian but it's very very tight curls so it can get dry at the ends because the curls are so tight and ringlety i don't know why i'm talking like this right now um and yeah um i i i i've struggled finding products that work but look at hair. you now i mean yeah look at me now absolutely <laughs> You've come I mean, a long I'm way. I'm really flourishing right now. I'm really flourishing. You're really giving them life. I, I mean, come on now. I mean, come on. <laughs> Look at this. Wait, That's how wait. it's done. Kadisha, come back. They need you. <laughs> I can't do it by myself. I'm only cads. I'm coming. And back. Sorry for that. Sorry for that. Basically, my hair gets quite oily as well. Yeah, at same. the top. So um, I need products that don't make my hair too greasy but also moisturize it and also some products sit on the top of my head instead of absorbing inside yeah okay so my hair type is texture 3c it's curly it gets oily but if i wash it too much then it gets um dry so which is why i like to wash my hair like once every four months i'm joking wow. i wash my hair like maybe once twice a week depending on how oily it gets and then i just like to maintain it and yeah that's what it is, that's what the hair type is. Okay, so now we're gonna talk about our individual should, should we take the wiggles off? I think this is getting a bit ridiculous now. Seriously. I don't think this could ever get ridiculous. I think anybody that thinks it's ridiculous. Are we actually gonna wear it for the whole video? Huh? Are we actually gonna wear it for the whole video? I'm gonna wear it to bed. No no actually. I'm gonna wear it in the shower. Seriously, 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 seriously. we're gonna wear it for the whole video. Um, okay, let's let's be sensible. Okay, <clears throat> okay so <clears throat> Yeah, so, um, sorry about RX and Kadisha. Um, um, they're a bit wild. They like to get a bit carried I tried away. to keep them on a leash, but sometimes, you know... Tightrope. Yeah, but... sometimes they escape, what can I say? Sometimes. Okay, so now we're going to talk about our individual hair care methods and what products we use on a weekly basis and what works for our hair, what doesn't work for our hair. Yeah. As I said before, my hair type is like 3B curls, and I think it's low porosity, but I haven't... I can't confirm that, but I did like the water test where you put a strand of your hair in a glass and mine showed that it was low porosity. I don't know how accurate that was. Anyway. What does that mean? Does it sink That means, no, that means that, um, that means that, like, products sit on the top of my hair so my hair looks shiny but it doesn't go in. This is black soap and I use it to, like, shampoo my hair instead of normal shampoo. And I only shampoo my hair, like, once every two weeks. When I don't use black soap, I put apple cider vinegar in the spray bottle and I mix it with water to dilute it. And then I spray it onto my scalp and I massage it in. And that gets rid of like all dandruff and itchiness and actually really properly cleans your hair. And also, on the days that I am going to wash my hair with black soap, I put coconut oil or any oil actually in before so that it's not too drying when I wash it because my hair really breaks when I shampoo it. Recently, I've been using this conditioner can i see that my mum bought yeah mm, it smells nice yeah it's 99 percent of natural origin so it's really good for your hair and it smells like coconut i also i don't have it now but i use um africa's best hair mayonnaise as like a leave-in conditioner yeah mask. it's so good yeah i i use it like honestly i use it like once every two to three weeks but i should really be using it every week um and that We're really gonna... like restores protein in your hair we're going to include a picture so you can get it from like any black hair shops which yeah is basically where I like any black to hair shop buy my hair products i also use the olive oil leave-in conditioner that like really softens your hair as well and you leave it in for just like 20 minutes and wash it out <laughs> after i shampoo and condition my hair and my hair is still soaking wet i get auntie jackie's curlala curling custard and i put that in my hair and i make i do it with my fingers and i make sure that it's like from root to tip and I basically like I rake my hair I go like that to it to make sure that it go, goes to every single strand and then after that I use the S curl um curl and wave gel activator and it's anti fritters with olive and argan oil and it's paraben free um and basically it just it gets rid of frizz for me that's the main thing that it does and it's very light if your hair texture gets oily easily then this is really good because it actually like it's i think it's mainly water based but it doesn't leave your yeah. hair greasy at all you don't feel like you have too much product in your hair yeah and then after that i get the s curl um 
Curl Activator No Drip Moisturiser and it's like a moisturising spray and that really gets rid of frizz as well and it kind of feels like a leave-in conditioner, it's really moisturising but I'll do that usually but then I've been alternating so sometimes instead of using Auntie Jackie I use this um, Buclem and it's a bit more expensive than my normal products but it's really good it smells like essential oils and stuff it smells familiar yeah, it does. It smells like the kind of oils your mum puts in your hair when you're young. Yeah, you know exactly. You, like Yeah. Um, for my hair type though, um, I would use this more as a like a hair treatment, like a hair mask, and then wash it out. Only because it's so oily and it sits on top of my hair. So you can apply this to clean wet hair and detangle and leave on for twenty to thirty minutes and then add heat. So like get like oh. blow dry anything, put a cup on top and do that and then rinse it out or you can use it as a leave-in. I usually just use it as a treatment and wash it out. Okay, and then like once a week, but before I wash my hair, I'll put oil in it. Um, recently, what I've been doing is, like I made a concoction of olive oil, coconut oil, castor oil, and I put a few drops of rosemary essential oil. And that's because um, rosemary essential oil actually like stimulates hair growth and it like stimulates circulation on your scalp. So um, it helps like new healthy hair grow. And also, like, just this week, I started using rice water, and oh my god, it's so amazing. Really? Yeah, it's like the best thing I've ever put in my hair. Really? Yeah. That's it. I'd never think to put rice water in my hair. I know. There's different methods, but what I do is, I, I boil, like, if I'm cooking, I'll put a bit of excess water in on purpose, and then I'll let it boil for a bit, and then I'll pour it out, and then I'll put, like, two teaspoons more rice at the bottom of the pan, and I'll let I'll put the lid on and I'll let it ferment for like a day and then um the next day there should be like a little layer of like white stuff on the top and then I'll like I'll use a sieve to drain the water from the rice and then like I just put it in my hair, my scalp, massage it in and it feels like it feels kind of greasy it feels like greasy water is really weird. But then when it dries your hair looks so silky and soft. Um and I leave it in overnight then wash it out. And the thing with rice water is that um, even when you wash it out, the properties are still there apparently. And it's meant to like stimulate hair growth as well. But I can't really say whether it has because I've only used it like twice so far. But yeah, we'll see. Yeah, I can't really think of what else to say about my routine. Cast oil for the edges. Yeah, the cast oil for the edges. I used the face mask and I accidentally ripped out my edges on the side. And I put cast oil on it and I'm not joking, like within two days I were back. Yeah. Castor oil is really good. You can use it on eyebrows and eyelashes as well. Yeah. Really so for the products that I use, <clears throat> um, for shampoo, I use the Cantu Moisturising Cream Shampoo. And um, this is really good because it doesn't have like sulfates in it and it smells really, really good. Guys, if any wig companies want to sponsor me, I mean... <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we really make it look good. You can't, you can't fault us on that. I mean, come on now. I mean, I don't think anyone could ever, like... Yeah. <laughs> I mean... I mean, your woman crush I mean, she can never. She, she can Absolutely never. never. She can never look this pretty. Never. Ever. Ever. She can never look this pretty in her fucking life. So, okay, so... I wash my hair like this, and then I do this, and then I wash it out. Um, for conditioner, I use, let me find out what it's called. It's the little blue one. The OGX Argan Oil of, I use the OGX Argan Oil of Morocco, mm. and it looks like this. It looks like, I don't know, yeah. A small bottle, and it smells so good. And sometimes I use it as leave-in conditioner as well. So, um, after, sometimes I leave that conditioner in, or I leave in the Cantu leave-in conditioning cream. And recently, I've been just trying different creams, like, now I'm trying the leave-in conditioning cream, but before I was using, what's the Auntie, the Auntie Jackie's, Jackie's um, yeah, curling before, custard. before I was using the Auntie Jackie's curling custard, and I tried the Shea Moisture one. Do you like I, the Auntie Jackie's curling custard as well? I like the, I like the Auntie Jackie's curling custard. Like, it, it works good on my hair. Mm. But I just like to try new things. I yeah. didn't really love the Shea Moisture one. I like what doesn't make it work. But I think I got the wrong one. Uh, I think, I can't remember what product, what which what it was called exactly, but it just wasn't right was for it my hair. Was it Repair? 
I don't know, I just remember uh, it smelled really good. Uh, that was the main, one of the moves. I was like, ooh. <laughs> um, okay, so, I, when I washed my hair, I put in um, a leave-in conditioner, or I put in, or I just leave the normal conditioner, and I use, like, curling mousse. So I used the Cantu um, mousse in my curls, and I combined that with this. That's so, like the larger version of the gel this is the head. Yeah, this is the S-Curl Curl and Wave Gel Activator. So Khadija <coughs> uses the same one, so it comes in a tube and this. Yeah. And they're really affordable, guys. Like, this is literally, like, £3.19. Yeah. So all Even of these Auntie products... Jackie's is, like, £4. Yeah, all of these products are really affordable. You can find them in black hair shops. And, yeah, that's it. Okay, I forgot to show you guys the oils that I use. So um, I got this cast oil from Amazon, and it's the best cast oil that I've used. Um, like it's a hundred percent natural and it's cold pressed as well. Um, and then I also got this rosemary essential oil from Amazon. I use the tea tree oil and other oils as well. I got this one litre organic extra virgin coconut oil, and it smells so nice, guys. Like I can actually eat it. I love. This I'm gonna start using before. it in cooking. I used to do that. Yeah, I really like the smell of coconut oil. I love it, yeah. Um, and then I just use normal olive oil from like any supermarket, like cooking right. oil. The oil yeah. is amazing for my hair, it works really well for me. But recently, because my hair feels a bit drier, I think maybe like weather, I don't know, I've been using coconut oil instead of argan. Yeah, coconut oil is really good. I use coconut oil sometimes, but I can't really use it that much, it's annoying. Because it breaks yeah. me out. But, oh, does it? Yeah, like whenever it I use it on my hair, like, it breaks it breaks me out so I try uh, to avoid it luckily it doesn't break me out but what I use is um, I use olive oil and um, also face not face masks hair masks are really good so for example sometimes I like to experiment and I just mix different things so for example um, avocado hair mask like natural hair mask with like honey and stuff mm. even egg it's like really good oh yeah I hair. use egg I forgot to say that as well yeah and then um, I like to leave oil in my hair sometimes. So. Oh yeah, and also, I don't do this every single time, but because I have low porosity hair, I need heat for the oils to really penetrate my hair. So, like, sometimes, I should do it every single time, but like, I say every other time, I heat it a bit in the microwave and then put it in my hair. Because I feel like then my hair benefits from it more. Yeah. Um, what else was I going to say? When you use hair masks, um, rip a paper bag and put that over oh, your head. Oh, that's what I do. And yeah, and I tie it like, up and then I get blow dryer. Yeah, and then like it just like you know it really makes the hair mask look yeah. better. And oh yeah, this is what I was gonna say. The most important thing, yeah, is also how you keep your hair under your oh, scarf. Oh yes, so yes, middle this parting. Is very important. Middle parting yeah. is key. Like Don't if do there's it like one that. thing you take from Otherwise, this video, breakage. yeah, like if there's one thing you take from this breakage video, breakage is a bitch. Um, like if you tie your hair back, instead of just getting all of your hair and tying it back, like it will really like, I'm not gonna lie, yeah, you'll be going to duct tape Miami asking for like a hair transplant, like you don't need that. So like, part your hair down the middle and then yeah. put it like this and then oh I know and don't I can wear, show you <laughs> don't wear your underpiece too tightly, girls. I can show you so because so, that will really f up your hairline as well. So. Okay, say your hair's like this, on a normal day, you'll tie your hair up. Okay, well, your hair won't fly away with your hands, but on a normal day, you'll tie your, your hair up like this, right? <laughs> don't, I mean, like, <laughs> like this. <laughs> like this. <laughs> but don't do that, do this. So, um, part your hair down the middle. Okay, and, like, Becky with the good hair. <laughs> I mean, Becky could never. <laughs> Let's not even mention her name, my presence. I mean, come on now. So, like, yeah, like this. So... You tie it up like this, and then, oh, this is another thing. Yes, yes, we're remembering. We need yes, to start writing things down, really do. I mean. <laughs> so these hair bubbles. Oh, yes, scrunchies. Scrunchies. scrunchies are your friend. Let me show you. These scrunchies, these hair ties. They're your best friend. Are so much better than the small band ones. They cause less breakage because they're softer. And yeah, and it feels don't like. Don't pull on the hair as much. Yeah. So yeah, that's what Also, you... guys, um. That's how I it's don't, done. I don't do this myself, but I recently <laughs> bought my sister for her birthday a silk pillowcase, and that really stops um, like breakage. Yeah, breakage. When you're sleeping, because yeah, you she told me she knows the difference. She said before her hair, hair used to break at the top, and my hair breaks at the top, so I need to buy myself one as well. And now it doesn't. Um, yeah, because the friction is less than a cotton pillowcase, and it's really soft and smooth, and apparently it's good for your skin as well. When you go to sleep, 
sleep in protective hairstyles and alternate them. Don't Especially always, the plaits. yeah, but don't always have your oh, hair in the one. same protective hairstyle, otherwise it will break. So you need to alternate. So sometimes like two plaits, sometimes four plaits, sometimes I don't know, like two twists at the top, like or what do you call them, bantu knots. Yeah. Um, don't always wear the same protective hairstyle, otherwise it will break. Um, Switch up. Yeah. That's what we like to see. Oh. If you suffer from split ends like me, then coconut oil is your friend. Put that on your end. Okay, thank you for watching this video, guys. I hope that you learned something, took at least one thing away, at least. Um, if you have any questions, then you can message us on our socials. And if um, there's any like tips that you guys have, then share yeah. your tips and comments. Yeah. They might be helpful to us, and they might be helpful to anyone else that reads those comments. Yeah. Um, like, comment, subscribe, do all those things there. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Don't touch my soul It's a rhythm I don't Don't touch my crown It's a division I found Why do you play it on your phone instead of on Alexa? Because I tried to play it on Alexa before she doesn't understand because she's stupid She might said you're stupid Alexa Yes you are Oops, jealous No Fuck me, my hairline's receding. I I can't relate, I can't relate, I'm sorry. I mean, how do you really spit, how are you really supposed to pull this on? Like, you're supposed to pull it onto your head. I mean, that um, does feel a bit more secure. I mean, can you believe people wear this really on their I couldn't because mine's real. So, I can't really relate. I'm saying this is my real hair, that's why. Oh, okay, right. Yeah. Hey. Okay. That's what we're doing. I'm sorry. I mean, maybe if you watch the video, then your hair can be as luscious as this in real life. But until then... Um, yeah. Present. <clears throat> I mean, your bitch can never. Um, I'm certainly not your bitch, Mr. Trim her ends. Um. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, but, so that's what we're doing now. We're doing a hair, we're, we're doing hairstyles. Hair hair oh, here We're I doing hairstyles, so... I call I pull the stick to the side. It's like, and I call this one to the left, to the left. Everything you in the box to the left. Yeah. I call this one halal. Shut up, my chicken. Stuff on my hip. I mean, look at the way it just flows like that. I mean, this you can't you can't imitate this that. It's just you either got it or you don't got it. This right. is <clears throat> Yeah, we should probably start recording now. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I forgot who I was. <laughs> I forgot what the video's about. <laughs> oh, how am I adjusting my hijab and um, my hair? This is... What kind of, what kind of land are we on? Um, you guys were wondering what I was doing, you know. Just busy, you know, looking fabulous. Shit. <laughs> Olive oil is probably my favourite, to be honest. What the fuck am I doing? Olive oil is probably like my favourite. Like, ah! <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! The light needed to kill her. Okay. Right. Right, you stay there. I mean, Stretch when you butt. thought that I couldn't get any more fabulous, I just came and had to shock you and surprise coming. myself again. You're welcome. I mean, I don't think you really deserve all of the sauce, but. You really don't. Here it is. But I'm being generous because I'm a kind person. You know. <laughs> I ain't average. That's the end of that. <laughs> Hashtag snatched. <laughs> You weren't ready. Sorry, I apologise. <laughs>